Hello again, friends, and welcome into another edition of Wrestling with Rusty Ryder on YouTube. For August 29th, 2022, and for the benefit of longtime viewers, or even the new viewers, let me explain a little bit about me and my life. I have been a wrestling fan since approximately 1972. I was three years old. I'm 53 at the time of this video. So that means I have 50 years of being a fan. I knew many who work in the wrestling industry in the past, such as Tommy Angel, who is still a friend of mine, former NWA uh, job guy, enhancement talent Tommy Angel, and regional superstar Tommy Angel, as well as Jackie Crockett of the legendary Crockett family, and many other past wrestlers. So there's nobody that wants the NWA to succeed more than me. When the NWA was bought by William Patrick Corrigan slash Billy Corrigan in 2017, and he revived the brand, he did a wonderful job. But I was very concerned about his outlook during the COVID era and also now. And for purposes of this video, we're going to talk about Paulo Del Mar. Now, if you haven't seen Paulo Del Mar, in short, it is a guy, and emphasize the word guy, G-U-I, dressed up like a lady. Now, for those of you longtime wrestling viewers that say, well, Rusty, if you've got 53 years, I mean, 50 years around the wrestling business and you're 53 years old, then you must remember Ronnie Garvin dressing up as Miss Atlanta Lively for Jim Crockett Promotions back in 1985 in an angle with Jimmy Valiant, Miss Atlanta Lively, and the Midnight Express. And I would say, yes, you are correct. I do remember that. The difference between that and this was that was an angle in which everybody and everybody's uncle knew it was really Ronnie Garvin. But as soon as that angle ran its course, Ronnie Garvin went back to being Ronnie Garvin and eventually became NWA World's Heavyweight Champion a few years later. Having said all that, this Paulo Del Mar, fast forward to the current NWA, just came into the NWA a few months ago. And it, I'm going to say it because it's not a she, because it's a guy, he, it, whatever you want to call it, is a manager for another guy that cannot wrestle named Thrill Billy Silas. Now, Thrill Billy Silas can't wrestle, so, so I'm not going to waste any time on him. Hopefully, he'll be gone from the NWA sooner than later. The purpose of this video is to talk about Paulo Del Mar. I don't think there's any need for anyone cross-dressing in the NWA. The NWA stands for Tradition, Legacy, and uh, History. Or History, Legacy, and Tradition is how it's uh, usually mentioned and it also has a slogan it says wrestling the way it's meant to be well if Paulo Del Mar is wrestling the way it's meant to be then I don't want none um, for the first time in my life I'm thinking about giving up the NWA on a weekly basis uh, I do have the NWA all access pass which is the streaming service and I would recommend anybody that wants to get it to get it because it's only fifty dollars a year and you get all the pay-per-views for free but they keep uh, sort of pushing this Paulo Del Mar cross-dressing guy 
down our throats. And if that's wrestling the way it's meant to be, then I don't want none. Uh, the rest of the NWA has too many no-name talents. I realize they're on a budget. I realize Billy Corrigan is not a billionaire like Tony Khan or Vince McMahon was or Triple H is got billions of dollars behind him, even though he might not be a billionaire himself. But that being said, there are too many no names. Uh, the NWA doesn't have anyone, to my knowledge, under contract. Maybe Nick Aldis, I'm not sure. But I know if, if it is Nick Aldis, then the rest of them are not under contract. Um, and there needs to be people under contract. They need a regular, traditional TV contract, not just the Fight TV streaming service or the NWA All Access Pass that I told you about for 50 bucks a year or the YouTube channel. They need a television contract. And recently, Billy Corrigan did an interview in which he said that he had talks with networks, but uh, they wanted more equity in the company than he was willing to give up. Well, I hope that he finds a TV home so that he can generate more money and turn a profit for the company. I know there's um, unrest right now between him and Nick Aldis. They have a disagreement in creative philosophy. Uh, catch the Keeping It 100 podcast on YouTube where it says Nick Aldis tells the truth about his real life heat with Billy Corrigan. But without getting into all that, this video is about Paulo Del Mar. And in my opinion, there's no need for a guy dressing up like a woman to be in the NWA. The NWA, again, is supposed to be history, legacy, and tradition, wrestling the way it's meant to be. And there's no need for a cross-dressing person in the NWA, even as a manager. It just doesn't fit the core values of what pro wrestling is or is meant to be. It fits sports entertainment. Because like I've said in previous videos, there's a difference between sports entertainment and professional wrestling. That stuff belongs, Paulo Del Mar and stuff like that, belongs on Bad Jerry Springer TV or WWE Monday Night Raw, or the sickening program that is AEW Dynamite. It does not belong, it does not belong on the NWA wrestling the way it's meant to be. It just doesn't. Uh, I hate Paulo Del Mar. I'm not against those that might be gay or transgender or anything like that. And I'm not saying that Paulo Del Mar is... I believe he is playing a character, but that being said, there's no place for that in the NWA. And, and William Patrick, Billy Corrigan, it's time for you not to let the pencil or the computer screen get too far to the left, buddy. Otherwise, you're not just losing me. You'll be losing a bunch of fans who were and are fans of the NWA. National Wrestling Alliance, wrestling the way it's meant to be. That's going to do it for me. Rusty, I'm out of here. We'll see you next time for another edition of Wrestling with Rusty right here on YouTube. And until we meet again, my friends, happy wrestling, everybody. And do not watch Paulo Del Mar on the NWA or anywhere else. That jackass needs to be off of television immediately. And I said so. And I don't care if I piss somebody off. He looks like a faggot, and I said it.